Well, hello. It's me again with Routine for Monday, where I will be dermablading my face. And I have some other stuff here. I have a little basket of goodies. And I also have this little concoction that I'm mixing up. And there it is. It is a mixture of cayenne pepper, some lemon juice, and this stuff. That is pure collagen type 1 and type 3 powder. And the reason why I have taken the liberty of mixing the collagen in with the lemon juice and the cayenne is just to get me started for the day and because the taste of collagen is not very palatable, palatable at least not to me, so I mix it up, small amount right here, and I just toss it back and drink it. That helps me to be able to drink it with ease. And then I follow it up with a cup of water. A cup of water. <laughs> if I could get it in my mouth. When you take the collagen, the one that I showed you, it says to mix it in and then mix it in an eight ounce glass of water. Well, I don't want to be drinking it for however long it takes me to drink eight ounces of water. I don't want that taste to be all the way through. So that's why I mix it in a small amount with the lemon juice and the cayenne pepper so that, you know, I can get it down and then I can just drink the water with pleasure without having to worry about a nasty taste. Um, I'm taking that collagen uh, to help my skin, my hair, and my nails. Also, I'm doing microdermablading on my face. So let's get ready for that process. I'm gonna put this headband on and I'm gonna scooch my hair back. There we go. Scooch those hair back. If it sticks up, it's no big deal to me. I already have a clean face. Let me get my box of goodies. Box basket. Okay, where can I put this? I cleaned my face with this this morning. And I am soaking my blades in alcohol. Let's see. Some kind of alcohol you need. It doesn't really matter. I have some other goodies in here that I will be using but basically once you clean your face you can just start blading and so since the time is getting away from me that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start blading I'm showing you this will be like my third time doing it this is my 0 0.5 blader, blade has a little place right there where you put your little fingers and it just helps you to roll and let's begin to roll this one it's not as prickly as the other one but you go down one two three four one two three four one two three four and then you go at a diagonal one two three four and diagonal the other way one two three four and what you're doing is making sure that you get the whole surface prickled. Okay? So, there's that. But I think I'm going to switch to the 0 0.25 needle blade. Shaking off the excess alcohol. And I'm just going to begin. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four, 
just like you see when a man shaves. And then I'm going to go across. Then I'm going to hit that area at a diagonal. And I'm going to go diagonally the other way. I'm not holding on to this very tight. You hold it on to it very loosely. And even this one has a spot on it. Let's see. Well, you put your little finger right there and you just gently glide across the skin. So now I'm going to go to the next section. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then across two, three, four. If I think I missed the section, I just go back over it. Now I'll do it at a diagonal. And we'll go the other way. And I will show you the way that it is recommended that you do it on the little instructions that I got. This is the Derma Blade, this one. And this is what it looks like out of the package and this is the little card that's in there say to do it like this one two three four and then go across one two three four and then go at your diagonal one two three four one two three four okay and then you just move on to the next section I just kind of like to go across, all the way across. And then come back and go this way. Diagonal the other way, other way, other way. And then I'm going to hit this area of my face. Looks like a little, a man that shaves his face. So we just pull the skin taut like that. Cross two, three, four. Okay. 
I don't think it'll matter if you do it more than four times in each little, as long as you're not being rough on your skin. You're gently gliding it across. I'm just making sure you hit all the sections. So what is the purpose of doing this in the first place? Because as we age, the, uh, with the collagen, the elastin, the hyaluronic acid in your skin, what makes you look so pretty and youthful and vibrant, it dissipates, it disappears, it, it just decreases. And so we don't always want to look like a saggy baggy person because this is what happens as you get older and you want to try to do something about it. So this is what they've come up with and I'm giving it a try. So let's just continue, shall we? Ooh. That's prickly. That skin must be very sensitive right there. So I'd suggest if you're going over it, be very careful. This is the area that I want to sort of not sag and to go away. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do that just a little bit more. And in a month's time, I'm hoping I am hoping that I can see results. I don't know that this stuff will really work. I don't know that this isn't just snake oil that somebody has sold people and they have a bunch of products out there and they're getting you, the consumer, uh, to try them and they don't really work. I am not going to do this area. That's where I have dark, uh, dark patches right there and it's very delicate, so I'm not even going to bother doing that area. No sorry. Okay, let's go over here. I don't know which way do I go. I just hope I got all the ways. Okay, this one comes with some extra rollers so that you can do other parts of your body. Um, there's a big one. Okay, so this one is for the body, other parts of the body. See, it's bigger. And I won't be using that one. Not that you can see. There's another one that's for the little delicate patches around your eye. There it is. And there it is, right there. I've already soaked it and washed it. And there's a little button right there that you push in and pull up and take it off. So, just that easy. I'm going right there. Of 
because she gets sagging right here too. See how that looks saggy? Hopefully that won't be the case after I do this a while. Do that this eye. With this little one, I can get in between right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Careful to avoid right here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with that part. I'm going to put the thing back on. The other one. I'm going to go across this forehead. I have quite a bit of wrinkles there. Look at those and little patchiness all dry sparse patchiness all right there So I'm going to go across. I am almost done with my face. Now I'm going to go at an angle. doesn't hurt to get up in the hairline because it's supposed to help with hair growth as well. So if you need a little more hair right in that area, there you go. Basically, my face is done. I could switch this off. Put the bigger one on. Clean, bigger one. And I could do my neck. It's a bigger area.
I got everywhere? Did I get everywhere? Did I get it all? Did I get it all? Basically, that's it. I'm done. And I do feel just the slightest little tingle and my skin might be a little red now from doing it. But that is to be expected because after all, these are titanium needles. Very teeny, very tiny, but needles nonetheless, okay? So when you're done, you have to clean your needles. Soak them in alcohol. This is this is the, the little black one I had that was soaking in alcohol. I didn't use it. I just used this one right here on the chin. Right there. Oh yeah, I feel that now. Because this one had some alcohol on it. Because <laughs> it was soaking in the alcohol. I'm just going to go a couple of areas again. <laughs> that is tender. I'm going to put it back in its little alcohol bit, um, jar and let them soak 10 or 15 minutes so that they get clean for the next time. And I'll do the routine all over again. Okay, so afterwards, uh, you put on your hyaluronic acid. I didn't see, or your, I'm going to put some of this on. I'm going to put hyaluronic acid serum. I have two of them, actually. This one has a little few more ingredients in it, and uh, it has water in, and the glycerin helps to it to absorb better because the hyaluronic acid dissipates really quickly, and so you need something that will help it stay there when you use it. Okay, so here we go. going to drop it on these spots. Now I'm going to rub it in. Probably got way more than I need at that time. They recommend you do this at night. But, yeah. <coughs> and the reason being is because you can get quite red from it, and the quite and the skin is irritated at this point, and you might not want to walk around for the day looking all red, if depending on how long uh, you would stay red. But I don't mind. So, there's that. After you do this, supposedly, because you have prickled your skin and opened up, you've made little holes in your skin, um, this helps whatever you put on your face to be absorbed a lot better. So therefore, it's more effective. We shall see. That's why we're doing this. This is day lotion. Whew. Yes, I feel that. I feel that very much. I also have in my little bag of goodies some vitamin E oil. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. Let's see. 
terminate. For smoother, softer skin. It's a little oily. Maybe if you have oily skin, you may not want to use it. But I need the moisture because my skin is quite dry. This is something else I got. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay, that is sweet almond oil. I ordered this by mistake. Well, not by mistake. I ordered it on purpose, but the purpose to which I thought I was getting it for, uh, I misread and didn't realize what I was getting. This is sweet almond oil, cold pressed, and it is 100% pure and natural from head to toe miracle worker for skin hair and nails I thought I was buying this sweet almond oil um, to cook with <laughs> and then I read it again and it is to put on your skin and so to rub on your hands and to bring a youthful appearance. So I will be using that as well. Okay. So now I think my little bag of goodies, um, I've used all my little bag of goodies. I also cleanse my skin with some witch hazel. And um, I have in here Some hand sanitizer because my hands are oily and I'll just clean off those products that I just used on my skin and I am done I'm done it took a little time but sometimes you have to take a little time for yourself and that's what I've done. That's what I'm doing. You can see some redness, or at least I can. And now I am ready for the day. And so, uh, like I always try to say, I don't have much to give you, but what I have, here it is. That's the smile that I have given from my heart to your heart. So I hope you have a wonderful or have had a wonderful and blessed day. And until next time, keep on blading. Ta-ta.